Hey everyone, welcome back to Mega Man Legends, where last time we ran around catalogs doing a whole bunch of side quests and checking out the Uptown area. Today, now that we've made our debut on the big screen in Beast Hunters and Balloon Fantasy, we've got a few more things to do for side quests, including revisiting Jim's hideout where... Things are looking quite a bit different. They've got a ramp, they've painted, they've got a new window up there. They've made some progress. Hello everyone, how is it going? What do you think? It's getting there, isn't it? Oh, that reminds me. There's something else we need you to get. Think you could find a saw for us? Good luck, requisitions officer Mega Man. All right, they need a saw to keep working on their base. Sounds good. To find our saw, we're gonna head back to City Hall and talk to the same worker who loaned us the pickaxe. Huh? A saw? Sorry, I just threw mine away. Why would you throw away a perfectly good saw? I think it was when I was working on a job downtown. I mean, I guess we could go find it, but if he had to throw it away... It's either broken, or this man does not know how to take care of his tools. Still, I suppose it's better than nothing. Alright, so, he was working on a job downtown, so one of the trash cans around here should have it. Did I get it first try? We got a saw! Hooray! Alright, back to Jim. Hello there, Jim! I bring you a saw! Hey, you got a saw! Good work! Okay, leave the rest to us. We'll get this place fixed up so you won't even recognize it. Come back and take a look later, okay? Will do! Good luck with all the construction! Though I am curious, how do they have a metal door on the inside and I guess it's still metal, but it looks like a different material from the outside. Wild. While we're waiting for Jim to finish construction, there's still stuff to do uptown. We checked out the lower part of uptown, but we never checked out the upper part. Not only did we not check out the upper part, but we never figured out how to open up the museum. And that's what we're going to be doing. Why, hello there! Hmm... Something's missing. What do you think I should add? Hmm... Clearly you're missing some talent- No, her painting is fine. Um, I noticed that there's some red down there. There's a red car, a red hospital sign, a little bit of red on the... Uh, spire, I guess, at the top of the hospital. But none in your painting. I'm fresh out of red, which is why I haven't been using it, but I suppose it is a little drab. But there's nothing wrong with this cold red either. I mean... Do you want me to get you some red? Ma'am? We're just gonna... We're just gonna leave it at that? All right, well, if I happen to find you some red paint, I will let you know. In the meantime, there's not too much of the upper half of Uptown. It's mostly just a big hill leading out to overlooking the lake. And a massive lake it is. So big, the PlayStation can't even handle it. I like to sit here and look out over the lake. Have you ever been out on the lake? I haven't. Well then, you should go rent a boat in that boathouse there. Don't be frightened by the owner. He may be a little weird, but he's a nice guy. Really? Well, the price doesn't look too bad. Five bucks for an hour? Not bad at all. The name concerns me though. We'll deal with that nightmare later. That girl's painting is a little drab. It could use some more color. If she's out of paints, she should go to the market and get some. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But she doesn't seem to want to go anywhere, so... Alright, off, off to Apple Market to see if we can find some red for her. Unfortunately, I can't really think of where we would buy paints. Uh, there's a clothing store. Uh, food, food. Clothes. Record store. This would not have paint. E electronic goods? 
toy store, bakery, junk shop. Uh, the junk shop, we've been in there plenty of times and there's no paint there. Where could we possibly go to get some paint? Hi there, Mega Man. Are you looking for something? Red chalk for drawing. Chalk? Mega Man, what the hell are you doing? I didn't know you were an artist. We don't have any red chalk, but we've got some red lipstick. Would that do? I mean, it's the right color and it's better than chalk, but it's... <sighs> really? You mean it? Okay, then here. I'll give you mine. I'm sorry, I've already used it a little. Oh, don't worry about paying me. I'm just glad I could help you, Mega Man. See you later. No, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's the right color, but it's not paint. I guess it's better than chalk. Mega Man, why did you ask for chalk? She's painting. Also, it's not just lipstick, it's used lipstick. I'm not the only one who is extremely concerned by this, right? Something seems wrong here. Very, very wrong and bad. But hey, I bring you lipstick that someone else used. Oh, you're back. Mm -hmm. What's that? Hey, could I borrow that for a second? That's it. That's perfect. That's exactly what it needed. Thank you so much. Oh, would you look at the time? I better be going. I have what we call a massive headache. Okay, well then. She's run off to display her painting somewhere. And completely unrelated. The museum's open. All right, welcome to Catalog's Museum. We got a lot to check out here. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Catalog's Art Museum. The first floor has our art gallery, and the second floor is our exhibition hall. Please take your time and enjoy. Oh, it's free, nice. Over here we have a lovely painting. That painting was made almost 20 years ago. It's beautiful, isn't it? Honestly? For some reason, it reminds me of the Bonds. I don't know why. It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. What's with the floating squares? Well, this looks ominous. This painting was apparently found in a ruin somewhere. It looks like a person wearing blue armor is fighting with a frightening monster. I wonder what the thing that looks like an eye there is supposed to symbolize. I wonder indeed. It's a cucko? It looks like a chicken. Right, this isn't Zelda. This is a painting of the marketplace. So yeah, this is supposed to be Apple Market. I like it. I like it a lot to be honest. I really like this painting of the marketplace. This museum's got a lot of nice paintings, but the second floor exhibition hall's completely empty. Shame, isn't it? Oh, that is a shame. I wonder what that is. I don't know for sure myself. Just a big obsidian slab with a design on it, I guess. Interesting. That's a picture of our home, Catalogs Island, as seen from the air. It's a very good drawing. You can see Apple Market to the south, downtown in the middle, City Hall to the north, to the west is Uptown, to the east... Almost kind of blends into the rest of the island, but it looks really dreary. Hmm. You can also see the path through Carden Woods. You can also see where the subgate is, like... Just above Mega Man's head, right? Oh, no, I cannot jump low enough anymore. But, like, you can kind of see the clearing right there where the Carden subgate is. Can't really see anything to the north, like the Yas Plains or the 
I guess you can see the closer woods, but you can't see the path through it. It's a pretty detailed drawing, though, and I lo or painting, I guess, and I love it. Let's check out the second floor. And look who it is! She finished her painting. Oh, look at that beautiful red she added. Well, that really did make a difference. Hi there. Thanks for helping me out before. Thanks to you, I was able to finish my painting. I just paint for fun in my spare time. My real job is here, working as the curator. Why don't you take a look around? I know there's not much here, but... Wait, you're a digger, aren't you? If you find anything interesting on one of your digs, could you bring it here and show it to me? If it's really good, I could display it here. You will? Great, thanks. We didn't even have the choice to say no, but yes, various items that we've been finding in the dungeons. Roll can't do anything with them, but we can donate them here to the exhibition hall, which is... Sorely in need of exhibits. What's that you've got there? It looks like a bone or something. Oh well, a lot of the people who come here are into strange things like this. It doesn't look like much, but if you want, I can display it here. I'll call it an ancient digging tool. What do you say? This is the old bone. Thank you so much! I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this! Everyone's so excited to see the old bone. What? Did you really find that underground? If you did, it's an incredible discovery. I wonder what something like this would be doing underground. Oh well, why don't we call it a human doll? It could be someone's idea of a joke, but why don't we put it on display? This is the old doll we found. Thank you so much! I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. Oh my! Is that a crystal boss? Do you know what that is? Those are made when a Weaverbot's body crystallizes over the centuries. They're considered Grade 3 National Treasures. It would mean so much to me if you'd let me display that here. Please. This is... I believe the shiny object that we found? Though I'll need to double check that. Thank you so much! I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. Let's see. Uh... Yep, she took our shiny object, so I believe... Yeah, that was the shiny object. Where did you find that? That's an antique shield. Relics like that are classified as Grade 2 National Treasures. Some Weaverbot was probably using it to protect itself. You'll let me put it on display, won't you? And this is the old shield. Seems like we found some pretty rare stuff down there. Thank you so much! I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. Alright, and that is our first four donations to the museum. I don't believe we have anything else that can be donated. Nope! So if we want to check out all the things we did donate, let's head downstairs. And right back upstairs after she has time to put it all up. We've got the old bone. We've got the old doll. We've got the old shield. And we have the shiny object. Literally a fossil of a Horoko or a Zakoban. Neat! 
And now that we have some more objects up, there are people coming up here to check out the displays. I just love the way this shines. It's almost hypnotic. It... it's a rock. This museum started to get more exhibits for display recently. I hear there's a digger who brings them stuff he finds underground. Yeah, I wonder who that could be. And then down here you may have noticed there's more people here as well. I just love chickens. You know what? Good for you. So this is what our island looks like. I wonder if I can find where my house is. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. Downtown's pretty uh, pretty blatant, and that's where basically all the residential area is. Boy, she's cute, isn't she? I wonder if a girl as pretty as that would be interested in a guy like me. This is a painting. This is a painting, dude. Chill. And that's our first trip to the museum done. I'd honestly say we're like halfway done with the museum already. Uh, there's still quite a few things we need to find underground, but... We started off with a good chunk of them. Just from what we've explored already. Next up, I believe Jim is ready for us once again. And would you look at that? They have made some incredible progress! How did they do this? With a pickaxe and a saw. They must have had a pretty good supplier of other materials. Jeez. Where did they get the money? Guess what? The base is finished. What do you think? We wouldn't have been able to do it without your help. Thanks. That pile of stuff over there has all our trophies in it. I suppose you can take something for yourself if you want to. Come back and see us again sometime. All right. Thank you so much! And our reward for rebuilding the base is the Marl Wolf Shell. Literally a piece of the Marl Wolf that broke off when we blew it up. Now we are not done with Jim's base yet because they are children. They like collecting things. Things they think are cool. Things like a comic book. Or, perhaps, maybe they'd like some bugs, like this bug, the stag beetle, found over by Portal 3. Or maybe they'd even like, found down here in the field by the card and subgate, maybe they'd even like, just a plain old beetle. Dang, these kids sure do like collecting things. Hello, Jim, I bring you a whole bunch of collectibles. Need a stag beetle. Would you want some broken circuits for it? Sure. Thanks, I knew you'd say yes. You can get your broken circuits from over there. Let us know if you find any more cool stuff, alright? Yeah, how about this? Wow, that's a neat beetle you've got. I wish I had one. Hey, do you want to trade it for this old heater I've got here? Sure. Really? Thanks. You can get the old heater from over there. Let me know if you find any other cool stuff, okay? I've got one more thing for you, Jim. Hey, it's the action man with the hologram cover. Cool. Please let me have it. I'll let you have this X buster I found for it. Sure. I knew you'd make a good requisitions officer. You can get your X buster from over there. You did a good job, Mega Man. Let us know what else you find. Sadly, there's nothing else to bring him. But we do get a good pile of rewards. We get the old heater. We get the X-Buster. And we get the Broken Circuits. I'm curious what the Broken Circuits are from. Okay, just badly damaged circuits. Also worth pointing out, X-Buster, Zet Saber, Laser Weapon, Batteries Not Included, and a Toy Sword. Hmm, these sound like weapons that perhaps characters in other Mega Man titles might wield. How interesting that they are just regular toys in the Mega Man Legends game. Oh, curator, I have something for you. Hmm, that's a funny looking thing you've got there. It looks like a hibachi or something. Maybe they use it in the dungeons when it gets cold. 
why don't we call it a fire pot and put it on display? This is the old heater we just got from Jim. Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. And I'm very curious what it looks like. Let's head downstairs and back up so she can put it on display. The old heater is going to be found right over here. Fire pot. All right, the museum continues to come along nicely. I believe it's only missing three or four items at this point. We're moving right along already and it just opened up and I love that. And there is just one last thing to do today. Roll, I have so many items for you. You are going to have the time of your life. Enjoy. The Mystic Orb and Marlwolf Shell were used to make the Shield Arm Special Weapon. This is the special arm type used for defense. It can protect you from enemy attacks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. The Broken Motor, Broken Propeller, and Broken Cleaner were used to make the Vacuum Arm Special Weapon. This arm is a little different. You can't use it to attack with, but you can use it to easily gather up scattered reflector shards. The Z-Saber and Penlight were used to make the Blade Arm Special Weapon. This is a short-range arm-mounted weapon. It's probably best used when you get in trouble and are surrounded by enemies. The Plastique was used to make the Buster Part Power Blaster L. This Buster Part will not only increase your firing range, but your firepower as well. That was made from the remains of a bomb. You'll probably get the most out of it in a wide open space. The bomb was used to- okay, the actual bomb was used to make the Buster Part Power Blaster R! This part- this is a part designed for heavy duty combat. It increases both your firepower and your firing speed. You should use it against enemies with heavy armor and other defenses. Whew, that's a lot! Thank you, Roll! Let's go check out our new loot! Special weapons! We got a lot of them! Machine Buster we already had, Powered Buster we already had, Grenade Arm we already had with 24 grenades. Vacuum Arm, 1800. I'm curious what that 1800 units of ammo is. Uh, that, why? That's a very high number. And as she said, it's a support type item used for collecting scattered refractor shards. So I'm curious, is it like 60 units of ammo per second or something? I'll measure that at some point once we actually get to using it. We've got the blade arm, 32 blades. We'll be uh, be sure to make use of that in due time. And the shield arm with uh, 300 units of ammo. And like the vacuum arm, I'm pretty sure that's a measure of the time you can use it for. Because this is a shield and not an actual like weapon or anything. So I'm pretty sure both of these are measuring out how long you can use the weapons for, but I'll have to measure exactly how these units scale into real time at some point. Because it's clearly not going to be, you can vacuum for 1800 seconds, or you can shield for 300 seconds. That's five minutes! That's a lot of time for a shield. We don't need that much shield. But we've got a lot of new special weapons now, and we will definitely be making use of them in due time. But for now, next time on Mega Man Legends, with a whole bunch of stuff done, a whole bunch of side quests out of the way, it is time to check out Wily's Boat Shop and make our way out onto the lake so we can go check out the Lake June subgate. Next time on Mega Man Legends, we're heading out onto open water. I'll see everyone then.